बी रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर कमिंग टू टेक्निकल एजुकेशन आई मे पॉइंट आउट देअर आर मेनी कॉलेजेस विदाउट इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर सेवरल कॉलेजेस हैव बीन रनिंग विदाउट एनी फेसिलिटीज यू हैव टू डू समथिंग सो दैट दीज कॉलेजेस एक्वायर द नेसेसरी इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर एन पी ई ऑल्सो स्पोक अबाउट द कैपिटेशन फीस चार्ज बाय दीज इंजीनियरिंग एंड मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूशन इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ मेंटेनिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स एट्सेट्रा कमर्शियलाइजेशन ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन शुड बी कर्ब्ड द ऑल इंडिया काउंसिल ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन हैज बीन गिवन दिस टास्क बट टूडे Eight engineering colleges in Bihar, twenty-seven in Karnataka, fifty-two in Maharashtra, twenty-two in Tamil Nadu, and about five medical colleges in Karnataka are still collecting high capitation fees. You have promised to bring forward a central bill, but so far it has not been brought. More and more such colleges are proliferating every day. in maharashtra particularly there is a mushroom growth of such technical institution i would like to know whether it is advisable to allow such institutions to come up the minister should ponder over this so far we are having only five iits they are maintaining good standards i understand you are going to have the sixth one in assam its progress is very slow when i went to assam the assam chief minister said that only the site has been identified but no progress has been made it should be given a philip in addition i suggest one more iit should be started in hyderabad because it is a central place easily accessible to many people the minister need not feel shy about it it can be had even at warangal or anywhere else but we need one more iit similarly the number of indian institutes of management is also very less such institutes are only four in number if you cannot open an iit you open iim in hyderabad that is my specific request to the honorable minister you are financing a number of other organizations the indian council of social sciences research the indian council of philosophical research the indian institute of advanced studies simla the indian council of historical research i know some of them are doing a good work but i do not know if the money allotment is just sufficient for salaries and maintenance of the buildings therefore a review of the allotment and a committee to review the functioning is needed the minister knows that the administrative staff college in hyderabad is a premier institution running on excellent lines but you have given just rupees 2.5 lakhs as grant in this year's budget i suggest such an organization must be encouraged similarly for the scientist going abroad you have provided only rupees 1.25 lakhs in the budget it is a very small amount this should be increased the education ministry should lay 
more stress on the extracurricular activities of the students study tours excursions the ncc and the nss should be given encouragement the earn as you learn has also to be encouraged it has not picked up in our country but we should give more encouragement to this scheme because in a poor country like ours there are many students from the middle class families if you can introduce a scheme like earn as you learn at least in some centers on an experimental basis that would be helpful regarding the role of the student unions also you must review because in certain universities like delhi university and some other universities elections to these unions are comparable to the general elections and most of the time of the students is being lost in the direct elections in earlier days the student unions were formed by indirect elections the class leaders used to be elected and those leaders used to elect the executive of the union whether we should go back to that system should be examined because of the role of the student unions i do not want abolishing of the unions as a whole but a different method for elections to these unions must be examined then i strongly oppose any move for an all india service in education if you have got any thought like that we will firmly oppose it and all the non congress states are opposed to any new all india service particularly in education because teachers going from one place to another would not help it will not help at all regarding adult education also the literacy rate in 1951 was 16% and it has just come to 36% in 1981 after 30 years just you have 20% increase there are still 425 million illiterates in this country and if you take the 15 to 35 years age group they are now 210 million it is a very explosive situation you must do something to remove adult illiteracy voluntary organizations should be encouraged to take up this task stop